This is Emma Schoenberg again, um, and I am here to talk to you about my latest collection uh, from Michael Miller. It's called Harmony, and it was born out of um, my admiration and love for this beautiful technique of uh, well, tie-dyeing. You all know tie-dyeing. But here, um, tie-dyeing with indigo and other natural uh, dyes, but indigo is very popular in El Salvador. And although um, it's, it's very manual, you know, uh, it's, it's almost, it's close to impossible to come up with a seamless, endless uh, pattern. But I was blessed to be given some swatches and uh, what I did was scan them in so there's extra texture um, and I did a little magic there um, with the swatches that I, that I had uh, and I came up with these um, designs uh, that you can use, and the, well, the blue, right? Uh, but we came up with other colors that you can combine with your beautiful quilts, uh, your masterpieces that you do. So, um, and it's called Harmony because it's very soothing also. Um, so I hope that you like it. Um, and again, I cannot wait to see what you do with, uh, with the designs that I came up for Michael Miller. Uh, I'm sure that it, they will be beautiful. And um, from this side of the world, oh, this is a little, the sky in El Salvador right now. So from this side of the world, um, to you guys, muchas bendiciones, que Dios lo bendiga, many blessings, God bless. And um, I can't wait to see what you do. Take care guys, bye. because they are magical and they can fly. My favourite one is the pink one because it has stars on its bottom. <laughs> Facts about unicorns. A baby unicorn is called a baby corn. They, um, they, um, they, Eat ice cream and it's a favourite food. My favourite fabric in this selection is the ice cream one because I like the unicorn in the ice cream van. And also, I want to be an ice cream lady when I'm older. I would like some curtains made out of it because um, I can see them when I go to bed. <laughs> I would name my unicorn um, Pinky Star. Bye, love you, see you later, have a good day. <laughs>「Alicia Jacobs Dujets and I'm here to tell you all about the inspiration behind my newest collection from Michael Miller Fabrics, Light Up My World. I recently sent through some concepts to Michael Miller when we were starting to talk about ideas for my next collection. There was one that everyone was drawn to and that I was really excited about, which was this painting of lightning bugs that I did on a small slice of wood a few years back. I actually have it here for you today. It's a simple piece that I did pretty quickly, but I always thought it turned out great, especially since 99% of the time I'm working digitally and I was feeling really inspired to get back to painting. It had been a while since I last picked up a brush, but it all came back to me and I had a great time doing it, which I think shows through in the finished painting. Once we started the conversation about this piece, it seemed like a no-brainer, so we decided that this was the route we should take. 
Michael Miller came back to me and asked if I'd be interested in making this a glow-in-the-dark line, which I was immediately excited about. It was an instant yes from me. I'm always looking to try out new techniques when given the opportunity, so I was super excited to give it a shot. Especially with a concept like this, I felt like it was made to glow. The challenge was building out the theme of this collection without getting too cliché. We've all seen glow-in-the-dark stars more times than we can count, so how could we make it different and exciting? Took some time, I looked up at the night sky, I started thinking about all the fun and whimsical things you might see outside at night. I ended up including campfires, animals peeking out from behind a forest of trees with their eyes glowing, the night sky with sparks of lightning, and a swirling little coordinate that's reminiscent of the painting Starry Night. I've always loved catching lightning bugs because they're such magical little creatures, so they're the star of the show. In the end, this collection took longer than normal to develop. The printing process for glow-in-the-dark patterns is much different than how we printed my designs before, so we needed to make sure that the artwork was printable. It's pretty important in the end. It took a lot of back and forth and tweaks to the line work, um, but in the end, we nailed it. It came out great. It was totally worth it. I hope that you're all able to make some really cool glow-in-the-dark projects with it. You could use it outside under the stars. I would love to see pictures of everything you guys create. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you all next time.